So you finished designing your building and you want to try to render in Lumion. Uh, Rev Revit does some pretty great rendering, but the control you have of Lumion in terms of materials and in terms of the environment are much greater. So the first thing you need to do, and you can actually see this in mind, when you go to the add-ins, there's no live sync button for Lumion. So to get the live sync button and and to get Lumion, um, I guess we'll start there. The first thing you want to do is go to uh, Lumion's website, and there's an educational section, and I will include this link in the description below. But you can get the Lumion Pro as a student um, for free. You just have to provide um, uh, information that uh, demonstrates that you are a student. And so once you do that. Um, you probably want to pause this video and kind of come back. Sometimes Lumion does take a couple days, um, from what I remember, um, to get you that. But if it doesn't install the Live Sync button, if you go to the Downloads section under Support, um, right here, there'll be a Live Sync for Revit. And so we're just going to download this. And once that's done, I'll come back there. Oh before I go so this is the Autodesk App Store uh, if it requires account you can go to students.autodesk.com to get an account and then you can sign in um, but usually yeah so this is gonna make me put in my account so I'll be back in a second I'm gonna download the app and install it into Revit and then once I'm back we'll show you how to bring it into Lumion so now that I have live sync installed um, I was playing around with it before there. Um, you want to set up your scene first. So I'm just going to click this mountains um, one here. And um, you'll notice that um, over here on the side, there's some, there's some good uh, tricks for navigating that will show up once in a while. Um, if you use the W key on your keyboard, you can go forward. And if you use the W key while holding the left click on button on your mouse, you can um, control the direction you are going in. Um, if you use the A key, you go to the left, the S key, you go back, and the D key to the right. Um, you can also hold the O button and right click on the mouse to orbit around the center of the screen. So now that we have this place, um, we want to turn on Live Sync in um, Revit. And what this is going to do is um, automatically update Revit with um, the the different things. So this little area here, this is actually the model that we have and, and for some reason it got put in over there. Um, just going to use the O and the, the mouse just to orbit there a little bit. And So here's our house. So we're just gonna just gonna move it a little bit here. Um, if you click this dot here, we're gonna be able to move it. And we also want to rotate something like that. Um, you have to be careful. You can see in this model, there's some things out in the distance there. So we want to make sure those aren't showing. So I'm gonna hide this, or I'm gonna hide these elements here. And that should um, live sync over yet, yeah, so they're hidden now. Um, so that's the basics of getting your file in there. There's a lot more tutorials on, and I'll certainly do a few uh, on Lumion on how to you know set everything up. But that's just the basics of getting everything in here is is doing that and. Um, there's uh we're not going to go too much into the tools right now but there's the materials tool so when you select an element in lumion you can then um, change that material um, and then there is also um, There's also the landscape button, and you can use this to change the height of the ground. Um, so you can see how our garage has gotten a little buried there. Um, 
And you can also change the size and then the intensity. Uh, of that um, alteration. Um, so you can play around with that a lot there. And uh, there's also weather, and um, you can use the open street maps here to bring in a map. So there's a lot of different functionality you can do, um, water, ocean. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of leave it at that, and we'll hopefully do some more videos on showing you more in depth on how to edit things in Lumion.